Hey, my friend, I know you are doing so, so, so well. Hey, I'm so excited to have you here. Hey, uh, it, it, takes, it takes a lot to really, really, really stay here and share with you, particularly when I want to talk about money. You know, money is, uh, you know, it's just one of, on the subject that people really, really don't like to talk about it. It's, it's just like sex. You know, everybody has sex, but nobody wants to talk about sex. Money is similar. It's sometimes it's very, very uncomfortable to talk about money. Uh, why? Because most of the time the way we're brought up, uh, either we really, really, really lack money, we need money, um, you know, we associate money with pain, uh, people give us a wrong interpretation about money, and, and just because of all that, we grew up, you know, we grew up with this, and, you know, we, we don't have one, we don't have money, and, and it's hard to talk about it. But Today, I want to break this down. I want you to understand what is money and how you can use it to fund your project and, you know, achieve your, your, your great dream. Uh, so before I dive into it, that I want to share, you know, give you a little bit my brief background. I came from a very, very, not humble family, but a really, really poor family. I, I, I remember, you know, at the time, we didn't, I mean, not just at the time. Most of the time, we didn't know when our next meal, we was going to have our next meal. So literally, we'll get up in the morning and go to school. You know, from school, you're not going to have food. And then you go to bed with that food. That's how, that's, that's how bad it was. Uh, matter of fact, this weekend, I was driving around with my dad, and I, and I asked him, Dad, just tell me about money. And, and how was it which in your day? He said, son, I, I remember... I spend a whole year. I don't. I don't even know if I touch any penny with my hand. That that's where you know. I don't. I can't call the Great Depression when the economy crashed and hit Africa. And my dad actually left, abandoned all of, all of us because he didn't even know what to do. And he moved to the village. So he. I mean. And I saw him when he was talking about this just this last weekend. He almost started crying. He almost started crying. He was, he, you know, he was touched emotionally. Money, the lack of money. And, 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 and not, 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 not only that, like I said, we, we, I, was, I, I was brought up, I mean, I didn't have any education because my, they didn't have, my dad didn't have money to send me to school. You know, any formal education. He didn't have any money to send, send me to school. And I, I have to, at the age of seven, I have to sell things at the market and, you know, sell used clothes and, I mean, sell it, pick up used shoes on the street and sell it to, so we can feed ourselves. And, I mean, all kind of stuff. I remember my aunt went in to the, the, the uh, 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 went to the, on front of our house and, and having some of the flour, just flowers and, and bleed that and boil so we can drink. I remember, you know, when that happened, when we did, we was probably about three days without food because we couldn't buy. We didn't have one penny and nobody ready to help. So, and I'm sure you can relate with it. There's probably some shortcoming in your life because, you know, you could have been fought in your life if it's somebody support you, somebody really, really staying with you, somebody provide the resources that which we call money, uh, so you can follow your dream, your education, and even have better life. Um, you know, you have some people that are actually handicapped because they fail to treat themselves on time. Now, you know, they, 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 they lose their leg, their hand, and all that. And not only that, some of you may be, you know, offline, you lost your loved one just because you didn't have any resources, any money to get the medication, to get them to the hospital on time, to fly them, to bring them to America, to a better hospital, to take them to Europe, or whatever it is. Maybe you lose everything you have because where you live, the door was not strong enough, and you couldn't put one there. Please, hear me. I've been there. I've been there. I remember when every month 
I was paying more than $1,000 in overdrive. Pay for McDonald's. Buy McDonald's for $6 and pay 20, 30, 25, I think $25. I think that was 25 or 35. I don't remember how much overdrive is. 25 or $35 to Bank of America. Every time at the register, I was panicking when I was swapping my card because I didn't know if I had money or not. At the end of the month, I was afraid. Keep calling my landlord and give an excuse. I'm sorry. This thing happened to me. That thing happened to me. I remember exactly when I didn't want to answer my phone the normal way with my voice. I would change your voice to answer because I was afraid of big collector. And, and I'm sure you can relate with some of this. So I, I want us to deal with this issue of money. I want us to deal with this. Now, why am I qualified to talk to you about money? Number one, because I love you. And because I know if you take this information at heart, it's going to change your life. Number two, I've been there. I share with you, with no food. My father didn't have anything. We didn't have anything. Matter of fact, a little house in the village, one room. One day the tree knocked out the roof. We was with a house without a roof. You may think that it's a joke. This is serious. Number three, I followed this rule that I received from my mentor, Tony Robbins. And I was able to create a wealth, not just for myself, but for my family and my community. It put me to where I, I can go for months without worrying about any financial thing. I can go for years. Matter of fact, I can go for 10 years and still be okay without even thinking about it. It put me where everything I buy or everything I own, I, I truly own. Even if I'm financed, I can write a check to pay off anytime I want to. I'm not saying I have so much. I still have a long way to go. But I can pay my couple million dollar home off whatever I want to. That means... The cash in hand is more than the debt. So by the way, the debt are good debt. My $140,000 car, I can write a check for and be okay. I'm not saying this to boost, but I'm saying this to encourage you, to let you know if you can do it, you can do it. But you have to change your mind. You have to have a right mind. You have to think about money differently. So let's dive into. First question, why people are broke? 